and welcome back everybody to Little Norton. So we have on to the next day. It's half past twelve. So I've I've been around and done a lot of the, the daily chores. Um but I'm still to sort out a few things. Uh so here are some of the sugar beet that we uh harvested last night, these are leftovers. So there's thirty thousand in the pile there, and I've got another twenty or seven thousand ish, just over twenty seven thousand in here as well, so 27,215, so not a bad little pile, and then we've obviously got a pile of potatoes there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty this, this trailer. There we go. And what I've got around this side here, I've got my little Kramer, so I'll just give that a bit of a tidy up as well. Um, so, plan today is we try and get that last field, uh, last field uh, harvested. We need to get the corn harvested. Um, I've also done a bit of a deal with one of the local farmers as well. Um, so, I mentioned last episode that I was looking to potentially get some sort of uh, one of my favourite mods into the map so that's the plan we're going to try and uh, negotiate a deal so our little fence that's up at the farm up at the horse stables just turn this off such a noisy tractor uh, yep the the horse the fence that's up at the horses so the wee little classic fence we're going to trade that with him um, I'm going to sell it and I have already purchased the said item so when we get up to the farm you'll see it obviously um, but yeah that's all I'm going to just say just now but what I'll do first, first is just tidy up this uh, pile just get it all nice and neat So other things we need to do today is need to get set up for the winter so if I can do any more field prep I will do uh, you could do get a layer of slurry on the soybean field that we harvested last episode um, I do have one more horse to, to run as well so we've still got Rooker that we need to give a, a ride um, and then yeah I think that's probably enough for the episode we'll see though um, the other big job as well is just to make, check the forecast because I want to see whether the moisture uh, is actually going to disappear today uh, One more shovel, I think, just to tidy it up. And then we'll move on. There we go. Alright, that'll do for now. Take this back and park it up. Alright folks, just check the crop moisture and yeah, it's not far off actually. Uh, we're we're getting close so yeah fingers crossed it will turn during the rest of the afternoon 
what I just wanted to show you was we did get the water pump installed in here just done that so that's that's whirring away and that's keeping our cattle happy so yeah they're all in a, a good position just now but obviously the grass will disappear very very soon um, so we will end up uh, we'll start using some of that TMR that we've made up uh, but they're all sorted and what we're going to do now we're going to grab the TLX and we're going to head up to the to the horse stables up to Rochelle's place and we'll go and uh, pick up the fence So what I meant to say earlier was, um, yeah, we've uh, we've also over last night we obviously did that uh, sugar beet harvest, got that contract done, um, but I also took on the baling contract on field 14, which is the big field. Um, so that's left us with 37 silage bales, which I took down to the biogas plant. So they're just down there fermenting just now, and yeah, well once they're ready, we'll sell them off. Uh, truck is in need of a bit of a service as well. Oops! Just jump out in the middle of the road, these people. Well, just spin around there, try and straighten up. So, yeah, still got one horse to ride, but we're all good. I'm going to keep hold of this, and um, that can go on the back of the new vehicle. Um, what I will need to do is get this loaded up. So, I really, really do love this tractor, and yeah, but. I wanted to get this other tractor. I think it fits really well with this map. I'll give it away. It feels, fits really well with this map, um, and yeah, I think it it's going to be great. But must admit, it's one of my favourite wee tractors. This um, for horsepower and for size manoeuvrability, it's absolutely brilliant. So I'll be sorry to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, it may well make an appearance on another let's play. You never know. So what we're going to do, we're going to head up to Robert Aiken's place. He is up at the... up here, right at the top of the map. So this is his yard up here, and this is where he's selling his... or we're exchanging tractors. So he's he's into a bit of restoration himself, um, so the idea is that he's going to take this on, do it up, restore it, and yeah. I'm going to buy this new one off him, or a fully restored uh, tractor off him. And like I said, I'll be sorry to get uh, let it go, it's, it's a brilliant little tractor. And yeah, if, if, uh, if you were to do a let's play, or play, play with some more machinery, it's absolutely ideal. Uh, so I just need to turn up here. Head along this track, and then hopefully, hopefully it's about, and we can go and uh, go and do the deal. Uh, this is his yard, just coming up on the right. So I think he said in here. Uh, oh, I just saw something in that shed. Uh, 
Alright, let's have a quick look. I'll go and see him in a second. Oh, look at that. It's a beaut. Yep, it's the Massey 135. And yeah, it's got forks as well, so absolutely ideal. Really, really, really love this tractor. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go and, uh, go and have a chat to Robert. And yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Fantastic. So yeah, he said just to leave the leave the fence. Uh, down in the yard. So what we'll probably do is just unstrap it. What we'll probably do, we'll take the Massey Ferguson out and uh, we'll put the fent in. So jump in board. Look at this. Beautiful. Fantastic. Alright, just leave that there, leave it running. Jump on board this one. And take this off. There we go. Leave that in there. go. So I'll just strap that down. So Rob's going to sort us out the uh, sort us out the money for our tractor, um, and that will come across to us in the bank overnight, I'd imagine. So what we'll do? We'll head down the road, and we'll head back across to the horses. Go and drop this off. And yeah, then we can get on with uh, the rest of the jobs for the day. Hopefully, once we've done this and uh, we've got it all sorted, then yeah, the the field down our um, cornfield will hopefully be ready to harvest. But we will see. I might just come back when or film the next bit uh, when we're when we're ready to do that. So now it's 20 past 3, we are up at the shop and yeah I've just brought the pickup up here with um, with the trailer. Uh, the Massey 135 is down at the horse stables and I've excised our horses so all the horses are excised now. The harvest is up here from yesterday um, so it's been here overnight um, but what we need to do is we need to lease uh, a corn header because as you can see in the top right the crop moisture sign has gone it is literally in the last five minutes disappeared so we'll jump into here and make haste now we don't need a massive one uh, it's only a small field so this one's three meters that's 3.4 swings and roundabouts I think we're going to go for 3.4 because yeah that's way too much money so pretty cheap to lease so 969 which is perfect so that should get that off the ground and what we'll do we'll put the header into the flatbed and that can go down the road there we go so it's already getting dark To be fair, the head is no wider than the no wider than the, the harvester. To be fair, but let's just put it in there anyway. There we go. Get 
this shut up. Okay. All sorted. So it won't strap down, but it's pretty solid in there. So I'm going to get the harvester and the, the pickup down to the field and we'll see you down there in a couple of seconds. Fantastic. So, oh, I need to uh, put the sides down. There you go. So, we're down at the farm. We're rapidly losing the light unfortunately, but hopefully we can get this uh, harvest done. It shouldn't take us too long in theory. Um, it is quite a small field, so fingers crossed. Let's pull up here. Oh. Move this out of the way. What's going on with this? There we go. Okay, I'll just pull this out of the way over here just now. Uh, turn the lights off. Okay. This gate opened. And jump in the harvester. No, quite a tight entrances, so we just have to do our best. So unfold it. Lower it down. And we'll get cracking. Okay. So it's going to take us a little while to do it, but what I'll probably do is we'll set it up as a bit of a time lapse in a little while and we'll get it done. So, cracking along with this let's play, we're heading into heading into winter next, which is quite cool, um, and almost to the end of the first year. I think what we'll probably do, we'll probably head into sort of the summer of the next year, and we'll see how far the let's play goes from there. Um, like I said, I have got some ideas that I want to sort of end goals. Uh, so the end goal is to get some more land uh, generate some more fields. Uh, I want the cows to be producing milk and um, that would be great. And we do want to get some wool from the sheep as well. So we do the idea of getting pigs as well. So we've got all the animals. Um, but we'll see. I think it's one of those things where again yeah, we need to give it some time to see sort of the fruits of our labour, so to speak. So we might have might leave that one, but um, still enjoying playing the map. My early and Grat Let's Play. I've decided to take a week's walk. It's there. Decided to take a a couple of weeks break off that just because. Um, yeah, just family commitments at the moment. The kids. Because uh, of lockdown, they're in homeschooling, so yeah, definitely having to get on with that at the moment. So yeah, it's got a prioritised family at the end of the day. So that's just taking a couple of weeks out. So I'm still going to do this let's play. We'll just keep knocking these videos out. But it'll just be once a week still, um, and that will just give me a bit more time to to sort out family.
Okay, just for coming up to the final couple of, couple of passes here. Great demand at Bush Car Full Grow Screen. Let's go. Can we have a quick look at that? What's that for? Potatoes. Oh, right. Well, looks like I'm going to have to get them sold. So, well, oh. getting carried away. Need to go and get them sold. 623, that's ridiculously high. So, 10,323 uh, litres of corn off that, which is pretty pretty impressive. Quite happy with that. Uh, we'll keep that uh, keep that for now. I've looked on the, the crops as well, and canola's ready to sell as well. So I think, yeah, although it's 10 past 4, we need to do some selling. Um, my intention was to do all this tomorrow, but with that great demand it seems to seems to make sense. So I'll get all this in here. And I think what we'll do we'll head up and we'll get some potatoes loaded up. There we go. So I'll just put this into storage just now I think. Uh, not too too far to go, just here. <laughs> so what we'll do we'll get this all shut up. The pipe in. I think what we'll do off camera, we'll get uh, get that all put away. Uh, we'll return the the header. Uh, but what I do need to do is get all these potatoes sold. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll head up to the the chicken yard. I'll also bring the the wheel loader up so we can get it loaded up. Fantastic. So, got the got the wheel loader up here. And get this uh, start getting these loaded up. A uh, nice big bucket. So, yeah, thirty thousand meter trailer and eight thousand or nearly eight thousand uh, potatoes at a time. It's not too bad. First lot in. Okay. Okay, like this. Fits with that. Okay, two. So we'll get this get this first load sold and then yeah we'll what I'll probably do is continue selling because it kind of makes sense. Um, and then, yeah, next episode, I'll just show you a quick montage of uh, what we sold, how much we sold, and that should. Uh, oh, 
camera angle. It's better. Okay. That should be his final bucket load, I think. Yep. There we go. Right, so... Again, ready for the next load. Okay, so jump in the Massey Ferguson. Put the cover on. There we go. And yeah, we'll head round to head round to the little farm shop at the, at the petrol station. Fantastic. So we're just coming into the garage just now. And get ourselves into position. And I'll get these sold. Yep, still 63. So kind of makes a lot of sense to sell them just now. If you remember, this is all surplus from the harvest that we did uh, for someone else, so this is all extra money. Yeah, it's going up and up and up. Oh, happy with that. 18,000. So a couple more loads of that and we should be laughing right then so I'm gonna I'm gonna like I said for next episode I'll start the episode and I'll just show you a wee montage of me finishing this off and then yeah we're gonna finish the episode there so hope you enjoyed it Enjoyed the episode, little bits and bobs, got our new Massive 135 and we'll be showing a bit more of that in the next coming episodes. And yeah, we've got I finally got our corn harvest in, which is brilliant. And that's in storage and yeah, there's great demand on potatoes. What I will do is I'll sell the potatoes and I'm gonna sell some canola. I think I'll sell 10,000 litres of canola as well. Because if we look at the prices just now, canola is sitting at yeah yeah it's sitting at its highest peak point. So yeah, it makes sell point to sell it makes sense to sell it now. Um, and that's yeah, it's, I think it's sitting about one thousand three hundred and forty-seven per thousand liters. So it's not a bad price. So I'll get that sold as well. Uh, I'll give us about thirteen and a half thousand pounds. So next episode we should be sitting quite pretty as we go into the winter. So all remains to be said is thank you very very much for watching once again and if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do and if you want to share or comment you're more than welcome to. We will see you next time in Little Norton and in the meantime enjoy yourselves and take care. All the best.